Every year, we deliver a major iOS update that brings awesome new features that will impact the world. Last week, Apple announced iOS 12, the next generation operating system for iPhone and iPad, but there are five secret things they didn't announce, and I'm gonna go over them right now. The first one is hella cool. Apple has brought their live listening technology from hearing aids to AirPods. So now if you have a set of AirPods, you can go into settings, control center, customize controls, scroll down to hearing, add it in there, put in your AirPods, pull down control center, go into live listening, and turn them on. Then you can put your iPhone anywhere you want, next to the television, next to the person you're having a conversation with, next to the lecture hall microphone, and go back and listen to it as though you were right next to it. Now, I know some people are worried about the spying aspect of this. You could use remote camera view on the watch for years, 10 times zoom to read lips from across the street for years. This isn't about spying, this is about accessibility, and it's an amazing new feature. Second is MapKit JS. This isn't about navigation, so you don't have to worry about directions. These are about the maps that you find on the web, and there's three really important things about them. First, Apple made these as a product, not as a data harvester. So when you use them, you don't have to worry about your location being tracked so you can be served ads based on where you are and can be followed from web page to web page. It's completely private. Second, it looks like these are less expensive than Google Maps. So a website who's having trouble affording it or hasn't been able to afford it can integrate Apple Maps. Third, there are some sample pages up already and the performance is amazing. They're using WebGL to accelerate the maps. And and I know Apple is deprecating OpenGL, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe it'll move to Web Metal or something one day, but for right now, the performance is just unbelievable. You load it up and you move around and it looks great and it works even better, and that's really cool. The next two are related. Now, Apple did announce series shortcuts, but what they didn't tell you is that if you're running the beta, you can access them right now. First, you can go to Settings, Siri, and Search, and you can see a list of your shortcuts right there. You can even tap through to more shortcuts to see a whole set of things that you can add right now. Just tap on one, record your Siri shortcut, Sushi Hungry, and you're good to go. Sushi Hungry. Also, at some point in the near future, either during the beta or with the final release, the Workflow app is gonna become the Shortcuts app. But that means that you can already start using Siri Shortcuts in the Workflow app right now. Just find something you wanna do, for example, play your new music mix, then go right back to Settings. Siri Shortcuts, and you'll see your workflows will show up right there. Tap on it, add your shortcut, drop my needle and you're all set up. Drop my needle. I'm gonna make House Party Protocol next. There's even a new customized app store. Now, it's not like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook News where it gives you an algorithmic feed. The app store has always been editorially driven, only now it tries to give you the editorial content that it thinks is most appropriate for you. So for example, where you are, if you're traveling, if you're at home, the time of day or night. If you use certain types of apps more or less, it'll give you hints and tips and tricks and best ofs more or less for those kinds of apps. It'll always give you the features like app of the day and game of the day and it's got a new what you might have missed so if you skipped going to the app store it'll try to show you the most important thing that you didn't get to see but if you want to check it out just find a friend who has the beta installed put your phones side to side and see how the app store is now your app store not just a generic everybody's app store there's one more feature I want to tell you about. It's not a secret, but it is awesome, and that's Audible. On the way back from WWDC, I finished re-listening to Frank Herbert's Dune. It's one of my favorite books, and Audible has my favorite version of it. It's somewhere in between a stage play and a reading, and it just has all the characters, all the dialogue, better than the movie, yeah, I said it, and better than the miniseries. And you can get it for free right now by going to audible.com vector or texting vector to 500-500. But you don't have to get Dune. You can get any book you want. 
want. When you sign up for a trial, you get a free credit and you can put that towards your favorite classic, your most intriguing bestseller. Again, audible.com slash vector or text vector to 500 500 and get started. Thanks, Audible. So those are my five favorite secret features, the things that Apple didn't announce at WWDC, but are still all shades of awesome. Now I want to hear from you. Hit like, hit subscribe, and then go down to the comments and let me know what are you most looking forward to with iOS 12. Thank you so much for watching. And this is iOS 12. Improved performance, new AR experiences, Siri suggestions, screen time, Memoji and fun effects in the messages camera, and group FaceTime. I hope you like it.